Paper 3. A lot of people don't know what to expect, so let's fix that. Now, paper three is worth 20% of your overall grade. Here's a fun fact. There are actually two paper threes. Paper 031 and 032. The first one is your SBA. So your SBA is a paper three now. But if you're a private candidate, then you're not going to do the SBA. You're going to do the alternative, which is 032. So if you're doing your SBA, by the way, you can check out our playlist on how to write an SBA. But you're probably here because you want to find out about the alternative. And if that's the case, then that paper is one hour long. It has only two questions. And uh, to me, to me, it's kind of like an extra paper too. It's kind of like, you know, they wanted to put these questions on the exam, but they had enough. So they said, all right, let's just put it in a paper too. That, that's just to me still. But if you can do paper two, then you can do paper three. So it hasn't been around pretty long, but so far the questions have been based on stuff like geometry, uh, matrices, statistics, and stuff like that. But or, or, or I've seen a question with coordinate geometry, but it's not guaranteed the topic that you will do. The only difference is that the, the questions might be a little bit more abstract. In geometry, they might ask you to prove some statements based on the information they gave you or to justify statements that are there or in the statistics they would have probably asked you to draw a graph or to explain parts of a line or something like that you know what probably it's best that i show you so mm -hmm. here is a paper three for july 2020 and in this paper three First, you notice this question is like a volume question where it gives you a, 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 a cylindrical container and a ball inside the container. You're supposed to determine some ratio of the volume of the ball to the volume of the container. Um, you're supposed to calculate something and you're supposed to calculate something else in this question given some other value. In this case, the base area. The B part of the question, again, it kind of ties in with some type of sector area stuff. And if you go down to question two, this is a statistics type of question where you're supposed to gather some information from this table, determine some more information, again, drawing information from the table. It has a little probability here. In this question, you're supposed to explain something based on the pie chart. And then you're supposed to draw the graph based on, uh, you know, the, the, the information that you're given below. Construct a pie chart from the information that you're given. So, as I said, it's kind of like the paper too, but just a little bit more in terms of either being abstract or requiring you to do stuff. So if you want to see us solve this question from the paper three, let me know in the comments and then we can go through it together. And if you want to learn more about the other parts of the, 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 the CXE math exam, then you can look at our video on everything you need to know about paper one and another on paper two. Thanks a lot for listening. I wish you all the best. Big up.